Hi there, my name is George Bertineau and I am the Head of Rehabilitation and Performance at Barnet Football Club. So the role and what I'm in charge of, I deal with uh, everyday kind of player care and injuries. Uh, we look at everything performance based, so that runs from uh, prehab, rehab, uh, anything pitch based conditioning. Um, I look at pre and post training and I also look at you know making sure the injured players can return back to fitness. So previously I was at Bristol City, I also worked at Hereford and Aldershot Town. A typical working week um, can really vary in football but I'd probably say uh, Mondays are very much recovery based, so lots of soft tissue, um, lots of bike, lots of light stretching and gym based exercises, maybe with some technical stuff. And then Tuesdays could either be a game or our, our bigger and harder day, bigger metrics and um, more intensity as we are off on a Wednesday. And then a Thursday and a Friday is very much prep for a, a match day. Match day and working in football, I think it's the buzz. I think it's the excitement around, you know, the club and the town and obviously every club's different. You know, we're a London-based club. So for me, it's the buzz and it's the excitement of, you know, winning and being part of a team. And it's just it's just the energy and the, it's electric. I think the biggest thing is it's electric. You know, there's no other job quite like it. There is no beast like football. You don't know what's coming. Every day is different. And I think the biggest thing is, you know, a match day makes football so exciting. Super exciting with, you know, facilities and everything. Um, I've heard great things about Dean and his, and his togetherness and, and how he can form a team. Because I think one of the biggest things that I've, I've struggled with since I've worked in sport is I've never had that team element. And we just do everything together. You know, there's such a commitment to being part of a team. Uh, all the all the rules in place and everything that we have to do things as a unit and I think coming from a rugby background that's super important to me um, it, it again it, it's something that makes makes working at Barnet Football Club so exciting because we have to be a team we don't have a choice there's no individuals here and we're not allowed to be individuals you won't you won't find anyone sat on their own or doing anything on their own we, we do everything as a unit which is which is exciting Normally, uh, there is actually something wrong. So I'm just double checking. I'm like, I arrive to them. I say, is everything okay? What's wrong? If they've, if they felt a jolt or anything like that, maybe I'll test it. Maybe I'll, I'll have a poke and a prod. And then the magic sponge. Well, I actually saw a magic sponge in my first season. So four years ago, I ran on the pitch in a pre-season tour uh, for Hereford, and a gentleman running on the pitch for Biddeford FC, ran on with a magic sponge and he genuinely applied it on this player's leg. The player got up and played on and I was shocked. And I, I to be fair, I wish I owned one, but I think it's more of an old school mode, uh, method. And you know what, if only that was a thing, hey? After a game, that's where the best part of the journey is. Um, wins uh, are obviously incredible. The buzz is high. Everyone's laughing and joking. Music's playing. We're just having a good time, enjoying ourselves, celebrating. So first player that loves a massage, uh, Sean Shields and I have a very good relationship. Um, we, uh, we work very closely together and I, I give him a daily rub, um, either to liven up pre-training or due to fatigue post-training so yeah he's probably the one I deal with on a, on a daily basis and then I would probably say who else do I see lots of I mean just the usual ankle strappings really oh my Nando's order okay so <laughs> my, my, my Nando's order is going to be a double double chicken wrap with halloumi medium no lettuce, followed by four chicken thighs, two large portions of fries, uh, side portion of wings, and uh, some Perrineaux, because you can't go wrong with spicy mayo.